Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's art journal pages are for the pinkcamera.com. Remember if you use my name and the number 10, you'll get a discount off your supplies. I am starting off with my Dilusions journal and I am using this lovely Tim Holtz um, tissue paper that I honestly use intermittently, but I freaking love it. There is something about like music notes and text and butterflies that looks just so cute. So I am starting off with using collage page. I think it's collage page. Yes. I didn't do gel medium this time. I'm just trying to use other, you know, um, supplies in my stash and this one hasn't received any love. Now I'm going in with Dilution Acrylic Paints. I'm using a Ranger blending tool and this one is bubblegum pink. The supplies are also found at, um, thepinkcamera.com so in case you like anything head on over to purchase a few goodies so a pink wash first and then I dry this over and then I take my it's a Heidi swap stencil that has like a repeating heart and I am using squeeze orange also a dilutions paint and paint dauber now I didn't wash my paint dauber um, in between uses so pink is on there and then I just dip it into my orange and I go in so you can kinda get like this coral color after a while because the colors do blend on your tool so it's not a bad look I am just simply going in um, for more of like interest and layers to the background so we have the tissue paper we'll have um, this stencil I then go in with another stencil 12 by 12 this one's called cabbage roses from the crafters workshop and this one is called cherry pie it's also a dilutions acrylic paint and the dauber again did not clean that dauber um, so now it has bubblegum pink squeezed orange and now um, cherry pie on top and this one you don't see the details of it very well but again I'm okay with that I am simply adding interest to my background and at first this is all I thought I was gonna do was just like layer upon layer upon layer um, but I started getting creative a little bit because, you know, when you're art journaling, it just transforms on its own. You know what I mean? It's very intuitive. Um, if you do this as well, you know that it can start taking a nice little turn. This is a Dina Wakely stamp, uh, stencil. It's called, um, what is it called? Star, Star, Starburst or something. And I am using, um, Vibrant Turquoise is Dilution Paint, and then I go in when you see the lighter version. It's with um, acrylic paint called Sweet Mint. There it is, the Americana. So I just wanted another lighter shade, and I'm just using the same stencil and going in the same areas. And I like this one. It's kind of like this, almost like, um, how do I think of it? Like, like cage looking, you know, or something. So then I thought I was going to do just like shapes and randomly collage them. But then I had this cute little idea because I liked the little things that were like home is where your girls are. And this is the Minnie and June collection from Fancy Pants. So I thought about doing little houses on my layout. So this is how I mean about things just transforming as you do things. And then I looked at my other scraps and I was like, you know what? I can make a house out of this one too. So I cut a little square out of them and I do narrow them down. And I apply those also to the page with the collage page. And it works out just perfectly fine. Um, and actually it comes out <laughs> really cute as well. Again, it just transformed into that. I think that's what's great about doing art journal, jar, or art journaling, I should say. Um, things just go in a different direction, even when you don't think they were going to go there. So it's just an intuitive um, almost like therapeutic activity to do. Um, so again, just going right over it, I put it down on the paper, I put it down on the back of the collage piece, and then I do a coat on top. That way it seals it, and it won't warp, and it stays nice and flat, and it's just a good technique to know in case you didn't know how to like collage things really well, and not have them warp and buckle and get underneath, you know, wrinkly on top. Then I am taking another Dilution paint. I'm having fun with my Dilution products. This one's Midnight Blue. This is one of the new releases um, to the collection. She does have it in mist form, but I just wanted to add, make this like the abstract kind of land, so to say, um, for this layout. And then I start going in with some more of the mint and make kind of like bushes. Bushes? Fle leaves. Bushes. I don't know. Just... I think more color pretty much. <laughs> you know, the more the merrier. So I am adding what I think of is as foliage slash bushes. <laughs> In order not to make the collage pieces look like they're just kind of sitting 
on top of um, my colorful background, I decided to do some stamping on them just that they become part of the background as well and not so much like these huge stickers that are on the page. It's just a preference if you like the look of the, having them crisp and bright and bold and not really um, interacting with the background, you can totally leave them the way they were. But for me, I wanted them to look part of the artwork in the back. So that's why I stamped and made them part, blend in a little bit. This is Liquitex Acrylic Ink in White. I'm just doing a few splatters. And then I think I also go in with some Heidi Shine Gold. So <laughs> I add Heidi Shine Gold to everything. So you should always be prepared to see that. <laughs> and then I thought the little houses needed some doors. So this is the opposite side of that floral page. And it has gold foiling on it, which is fine, but it doesn't allow the marker or anything to really, you know, mess, uh, you know, write on it. So it's a little weird. So that's why you see like two different markers, a thin one and a thicker one. And the thicker one shows up and I'm just doing some doodly windows. And yeah, this was the last stuff that I was adding because then I did want to add some collage. I had some heart punches. I had some of the lovely washi tape from this collection too, the mini and June, the one with hearts. Here I add some. And just randomly, like I said, sometimes it's just about having fun and playing around. So it, that's exactly what I did here. So thank you so much for joining me and taking the time to um, watch this come alive. I had a little puffy sticker of that dog on the bottom. So cute. Yeah. <laughs> Um, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. And until next time, see you later. Bye.